Hello. So we're gonna see how to set up the Benawake TF Mini LiDAR module for use in Pixhawk with um, object avoidance or just for height uh, estimation. Before anything else, we have to set up the LiDAR to be able to talk to the Pixhawk. So to do that, we have to connect to the PC with the classic FTDI adapter. To connect the rangefinder to the PC, you're going to need a 5V FTDI adapter, a male and female 6-pin PicoBlade 1.25 connector, some standard male or female DuPont servo connectors, along with the plastic 6-pin that's gonna make sure you don't have any short circuits when connecting to the FTDI. Now, depending on the FTDI, you're either going to need a male servo connector or a female. In my case, it's a female FTDI, so I best use the male connectors. And finally, you're going to have to use four spare cables to make the adapter for the FTDI. Now, all of these are going to be posted in the description below. And the first thing you have to do is take the 4-pin connector that comes with the rangefinder and swap it for the 6-pin. The way you can do this is by using a needle tool to press the connector out. You do this for the rest. And uh, when you're done, the cable should look like this. Using the Pico blade and the DuPont connectors, you have to make this cable. What this is, is these connectors crimped and this socket with these connectors in this layout. Starting from the bottom, it's plus 5 volts, RX and TX, and the ground. You have to follow the trend on the other side, it's the ground, and then you have 5 volts, the TX and the RX. You just have to connect the TX to the RX, the RX to the TX, the plus 5 volts, and the ground, and that's all. I should have made them with male connectors, but uh, yeah, whatever. I use these to convert them to male connectors. After that, you will use the FTDI adapter to connect the servo lead. You should end up with something like this. Now all this is are these cables connected to the FTDI adapter using the TX, the green cable, to the RX of the FTDI. The white cable, that is the RX of the LiDAR to the TX of the FTDI, the ground to the ground, the plus 5 volts to the plus 5 volts. The rest pins, you don't have to use them. And then obviously you have to connect it to the PC. And then you have to go to the TF Mini download page and download the TF Mini GUI. Just go ahead and download it. It is also a good idea to download the mini updater, as you can see here. After you download the updater, you go and execute it. You select the serial port, in my case it's COM5. You connect it, it succeeded, and then you go for, for uh, the update check. There's no need for an uh, update my version, the latest for now. And then you go to execute the user interface, the GUI, as you can see here. You do the same thing, select the mini, select the serial port, and you click connect.
So, first thing you have to do, according to the manual, which is also downloadable through the downloads page, is go ahead and enter the command 4257020000001 and 0 2 to enter configuration mode. As you can see, the table has stopped. That means that it's in configuration mode. If you want to use it with a pixhawk, you have to output this command, which is 42570200000004 and 06. You send the command. Now, if you're planning to use it for obstacle avoidance, in my case, I think it's a good idea to decrease the range of the sensor. The reason you do this is that you do not actually need the 12 meters for obstacle avoidance. And you can save some battery life by decreasing the, the, sen the sensor capability down to 5 meters. In my case, it's a 16 plus firmware, so I'm going to have to use either, either this command or this command to change the distance. Now, for short distance, it's 0 to 2 meters, which I think um, it's too little for our case. And now we're going to have to use this. And go ahead and type the command or copy and paste it and send the command. Now, if, you're, if you actually did opt to change the distance mode, you also have to change the range limit to make the sensor know that you have actually set the threshold for this distance that you chosen. The coding in this unit is in hexadecimal format. That means that these two numbers represent a hexadecimal number. Let's say, for example, that you want to set the range limit to 5 meters. 5 meters is 5,000 millimeters. As it says here, you have to input in millimeters. But you cannot just type in 5,000 because the unit will not understand the number because it's in decimal format. All you have to do now is just go to a calculator, a converter actually, and change the 5000 in decimal format to a hexadecimal format and then you have 1388 which is what you have to type in place of the EE and FF but you have to be careful you do not actually input 13 in place of the EE or the 88 in place of the FF you have to reverse the numbers because it's the memory is written in Indian format that means that you have to swap the digits only the first and second couple of digits in my case this is going to be 4257020088811 sorry 8813011 19 42570200881301319 and that should change the range limit of the sensor to exit the configuration mode you input 42570200000000 00 Send the command, set it to pix mode, and you should be up and running again. You hit disconnect, and then all you have to do is set up the mission planner.